Graham James, a serial rapist and abuser, a sexual predator of many young boys, who under his care as a junior hockey coach committed hundreds of horrible acts against the innocent. Last March, getting only a two-year sentence for the despicable crimes he committed against former NHL star Theo Fleury and his cousin Todd Holt, getting off easy because the judge felt sorry for him and the apparent embarrassment Graham James felt for being pulled from his lair, exposed for his crimes. It's disgusting. When will our country put the rights to victims ahead of the hood? I spoke with Theo Fleury and Todd Holt earlier this year to get their reaction to this hug -a thug treatment of Graham James. There's 8 million survivors in this country and uh, we're going to rally all together and we're going to make a serious run at the uh, Prime Minister of Canada and let him know that uh, an 8 million swing vote uh, could significantly uh, put a huge fork in his campaign. So you want to you want to talk politics one on one uh, with Prime Minister Harper and let him know there are many, many millions of people who have not done what you and your cousin and Sheldon and Gilhooly and others have done for whatever reason. We're not here to diss them or condemn them, but they have not. Many of them have not come forward. But if they could come forward, the prime minister and the rest of the country would be overwhelmed by the amount of people who've been affected by this kind of sexual abuse. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh you know, from, from Todd and I and Sheldon and Greg's perspective, once you take away the shame, once you get rid of the shame, now we're pretty empowered people. We're very powerful people. We have a very powerful voice. And, and not only that, over the last day and a half through Twitter and Facebook, people are giving us more power. They're telling us to continue the fight, to move forward and make the change. And, and you know what? We're going to do exactly what they want. Todd Holt, I want to ask you about uh, punishment. Had uh, your cousin uh, Theo on a chorus radio show earlier today. Now, I thought he was, uh, I'm not saying he was uh, namby-pamby. He's not a namby-pamby guy. But when I asked him about punishment for, for people who do what James does, uh, he was talking about 10 to 20. And I think uh, when you're talking about a serial predator over a long period of time uh, who is going to be that way all his life, that's crystal clear. All of the, all of the psychiatrists tell us that. There's no chance uh, of rehab. Uh, I think it's a life sentence at best based on the fact we've got no death penalty on the books. So I think when, when he administers a life sentence uh, to all of these people, I think that the uh, proper punishment is life. But... Uh, uh, 10 to 20 is what Theo was talking about. Uh, Todd Holt, what do you think? You know, I think there's a, 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 a massive issue here with that. Um, you know, like the judge said, there's no length of time that Graham James could serve that would uh, take back our pain or our shame. We have that today. We have, we have our smiles back. We have our families back. We have everything back. But for Graham James, he will... The thing is, a lifetime inside is the only thing that could could uh, stop him. Because as soon as he gets out, as soon as he gets free, he's going to do it again. Graham James is is a is a predator. He won't stop. He he is admitted in court. He's admitted to uh, his attorney and to a normal public that he he prefers young boys. That's 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 pathetic. He's a pedophile. He's uh, he, he's unremorseful when he does it. I know he, he stood up that day and he apologized to me and Theron in the, in the court. And I didn't believe one word of it. I guarantee if Theron was sitting beside me, we would have had a laugh. Because he, <laughs> Graham is incapable of doing that. He had all those years to apologize to Sheldon and the other guys. He never said a word. But he says, me, because of the hype, because of the magnitude that Theron brings to it because of the stuff that Sheldon's doing to change the laws. He knows he's, to be mild, buggered. He knew that this time it was going to be, there's an opportunity that he was really going to get stung and he never did. That's, that's the, harsh, the harshness of the realization of this situation. Theo Flurry, uh, a, a guy in a, a ski mask who raped you hundreds of times, 
uh, offering a, a, an apology at the convenient time, a lawyered up apology. That's not worth a bucket of urine. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what, Charles? Uh, I just, every time I see that image of him wearing that ski mask, I got to tell you, I laugh. I laugh my ass off because for, for a guy who's remorseful and sorry, why the hell do you need to hide anymore? The whole world knows who you are. And uh, it, it's, it's absolutely pathetic to see him act and behave the way that he is. But... What we know about pedophiles is their egos are over the moon. And, and it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, uh, what did I say before? Uh, you know what? Get over yourself. You're not that important. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I got to laugh. And, and uh, you know, it's so great to, to hear Todd talking the way that he's talking. And, and that's really... What the message is here, Charles, if you're willing to start the process of healing, you eventually get to a place of empowerment. You get rid of the shame, you get rid of the guilt, and you can go on and have a very productive, happy, peaceful life. And uh, and yeah, so, so yesterday's verdict, although it outraged the whole entire country, I know for myself, it was that last piece of the puzzle. And now I can really focus on what I've always wanted to focus on. And that is helping as many people, as many victims, survivors, victors, and advocates. Now we need to all come together. And we all need to take that long walk to Ottawa and get in front of the Prime Minister and say, you know what, we're not hiding anymore. We're not afraid anymore. No. And we're going to put pressure on you to make changes so that no more little kids have to ever suffer what we have gone through. Um, Theo Fleury, I want you to put your game face on right now and in 60 seconds look in that camera and tell Graham James whatever the hell you want to tell him. No, I'd rather talk to you, Charles. It's more important that, uh, that we have, uh, you know, the support that we've had from you, Charles. I really can't tell you from the bottom of my heart how much we appreciate you jumping on board here and, and helping us out because, you know, we've, we've also have had to train the media around the subject of sexual abuse that you cannot re-victimize us anymore, nor do we want any part of being re-victimized by the media or by the system. And, uh, and yeah, and, and, and today I feel so great and so amazing because of all the comments and all the support that is poured in from across this country. And we're gonna get some stuff done. And, and you know what, Graham James, have fun in your cell, enjoy yourself, because we are now living our lives the way we should have lived them our whole, you know, up until this point. Todd Holt, I wanna give you 60 seconds to tell any victim watching tonight, and many of them are. 60 seconds to tell them what you need to tell them to get them to a better place, sir. Just listen. Read the papers. Watch these shows. Theron, Sheldon, Greg, myself, we have a message. We want to show you that it's safe. There's so many years that we wasted, and we're speaking from experience of the many years that we wasted with our families, with our addictions, with, with everything that we went through in life. And it was a direct result of our, of our altering lives that Graham had changed. We know you're sitting in your living room right now contemplating on what to say or what to do. It's okay. It's safe. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a hard road. But it's worth every tear, every battle. Just come forward. It's, it's, it's okay. It's safe. I promise you. I wouldn't tell you something if I didn't believe it myself. And I truly believe that with the help of Sheldon, Theron, myself, Greg Gilhooley, the other victims, and the other 8 million out there that are just waiting to, say the, to get their opportunity, take it today. Don't wait for tomorrow. We got a great message. We got to learn. We got to teach the kids and be... Pave that road. Let them know that it's safe. There's so much out there. There's so many other things in this world that are rough. 
they don't need to have this worry on their shoulders. And Charles, I just want to advocate you on your, your support for this. Um, I've heard you your show many times with Theron, and I said the, the voice that you share, the voice that you echo across this nation is powerful, and I appreciate so much. Thank you, Charles. Thank you so much. Uh, that, that voice is empowered by thousands of abuse victims who have contacted me over the years. I can't thank you guys enough for doing what you do. Uh, Theo Fleury and Todd Holt, our cameras, our microphones are open to you anytime. God bless you for what you're doing. Thank you very much for tonight. God bless you, Charles. Thank you. God bless, Charles. Thank you again.